Hello, my lovelies. Thank you guys again for stopping by Spirit and Me 1111 with your girl Stardust here to do another beautiful twin flame message for the collective. Now, this message is a little different than the usual messages that I pull for you guys. I am strictly going to be pulling messages about your twin flame connection and whether you are a divine masculine or feminine it does not matter but this message is particularly messages from the divine masculine energy to the divine feminine energy you can be a female and re um, resonate more with the masculine energy you could be a same sex um type of connection and one or the other can be the masculine however that is however this resonates for you guys please do take the message as i intend for it right doesn't matter um, this is really going to be for a twin flame and separation here for the runner chaser dynamic giving you guys an update about your person and what it is that they're up to how they're feeling about you and what would they want to say to you is my intention for this reading for you guys so a personal issue reaches resolution you are very close to achieving your goal and your commitment is being tested <laughs> The end of a tough cycle approaches and um, i'm almost betting that bottom message is for you guys as well conclusions are within reach <laughs> so this here is for me for you guys a lot of energy that's just telling me that you know let's go in and find out what this is about seems like there's a lot of questions out there that you guys need answers to this is the twin flames of separation deck by Liv tarot I'm going to clarify each card with the message from this deck. Then I'll be doing some other oracles. I don't know if I'm going to make it to tarot or not. It depends on your messages. I intend for this reading to be short, but, you know, it's up to spirit. I'm just a channel. So if they use me longer than I intend, then that's what I'm here for. Without further ado, my loves, let's get you your messages. Twin flames and separation. Messages from the divine masculine to his divine feminine energy. What do we have? spirit thank you okay so four and i have nothing as yet set in stone i did see that and my ocd won't let me leave it alone <laughs> let's pull a card for that too jeez i was just doing good until i pulled that card without putting it face down you guys see what this energy does to me a card for that nothing is set in stone please thank you okay now so for the end of a tough cycle approaches, I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. What I get from this energy is that your person and you have been in separation for a while. And um, you guys may have mutual friends, co-workers or something like that. And now they're to the point where it's just annoying away at them, eating them up. And they want to reach out and contact these people and ask about you. How has my person been? Have they been okay? Are they in a relationship? What are they up to these days? That's the energy from those cards. So a personal issue reaches conclusion. And or resolution, sorry. And it reads for the twin flame and separation card. I always look for you at airports as if we will be at the same place in the world. <laughs> Some of you guys did indeed meet your person in a different location, geographical location here at airport on a cruise uh, for some of you specifically in airport. But I definitely see this person uh, no matter where they are or where they go. It's you they have on the brain and they're always thinking about you. They get deja vu a lot and it's like they see you everywhere they go. They see your face and other people um, and it could really just be bothering them. Um, to a point that it's obsessive in nature, but it could be very mentally exhausting on this person as well. You're very close to achieving your goal, right? So it's easier being with someone from my world. Um, I feel like your person feels like it's easier being with someone from their world. Um, you're very close to achieving the goal here, whatever that is for you. If your goal is to reach out for this person or to get confirmation or clarity about the situation, it can come through a mutual friend, someone that you know that your twin flame or your person knows is going to be giving you information and clarity about your person here. So I do believe it has something to do with the fact that they have settled. Um, it's not that the other person that they're with is the better choice. You are the better choice, obviously, but this person has definitely settled and soon something's going to come your way to confirm that for you right your commitment is being tested this card here reads i feel like i abandoned you and myself when we broke up i want to reconcile 
So that time that you didn't have with your person, those thoughts, that synchronicity, everything that, by the way, is the reason why you clicked on this video is indeed telling you that your commitment to your person is being tested here. This is your person. This is the one for you. They've ghosted you. They abandoned you. But now they want to find a way to make their way back to you because, again, this person is seeing you in other people's faces. They can't stop thinking about you. And, you know, you're energetically pulling them back towards you. Conclusions are within reach. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. Very indicative to the twin flame connection. It is a um, connection that goes without words. Um, the connection it goes without having to be spoken that your person is your person for you. Um, you may see the way this person looks at you from across a room, the looks that they give you, that feeling you feel like someone's pouring that warm water all over your body that starts like at your head and trickles its way down to your feet. Like, wow, like this, they make you feel like it's only you in the room. That special type of connection that you have with this person, that's real. Those feelings are real. Don't question that. That's your confirmation from spirit. You've never felt that before for a reason because you've never met your twin before this person. So if you're experiencing those emotions with someone, then that's why. Nothing is yet set in stone. And this card for that reads, My heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know you've lost faith in me. So a lot of them do feel like you have lost faith in them and the connection. And they want to get to know what's going on with you. So this person is going to be um, coming towards you, for the most part, sooner than later, I feel. And I'm going to clarify this with some tarot. Get some tarot cards out here and see what energies we have from your divine masculine to the divine feminine we got that sun card twice <laughs> we got that sun card twice let's get a story 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 spirit see if mr sunny so we got two of pentacles yeah this person is having a really hard time balancing here making a choice um that they want a new start with you all right I want to start with you. They want to find out what's going on with you. They see a family type of situation. They want to start. Um, they've juggled you or another person in the past. They want to bring that to an end. They've chosen you. They've already decided that you are their emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Virgo Taurus Capricorn and Aries as well as um, Aquarius with the full energy. Knight of Wands. Some of you guys are moving closer to this person um, with the Knight of Wands energy. You're going to be moving in with them or they're going to be moving closer to you. I hear they're coming to a neighborhood near you. Um, this person could be looking online, doing some research, and trying to find places that are closer to you in your area. Um, Three of Pentacles energy, King of Pentacles. So they do want to come towards you with an offer, a solid offer. They want to work things out with you. Um, it could be someone that you've worked with in the past, you've met at work or a work type of trip or something. I'm sensing with that energy, most definitely. But um, this person has already decided that they're coming to where you are. You could be moving closer to them. Or it can be someone you've moved in or had some type of living arrangement situation with in the past. Um, this person in the past could have put you in a third party situation and had kind of playboy playgirl type of energy about themselves here um that energy is here but i see that they see that you um are very well to do takes really good care of yourself self-reliant self-sufficient your money is doing really well i'm very hard worker and you know how to focus on one task at a time and get the job done and that's what's keeping you very abundant you're very solid when it comes to your money and manifesting your money and this is why your twin flame is coming in because they know they can create this happy level of commitment with you the ultimate level of prosperity um the happiest emotional fulfillment type of energy with you in this connection Hmm. And the energy oracle. <laughs> Not a little energy oracle for this part. I don't know if I'll make it to tarot. We got tarot here. Okay. Psychic tarot oracle cards for my twin flames. Messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine. What does the divine masculine want to say? the divine feminine about this connection whoa <laughs> you are my world you are my universe you are my everything my heart didn't stop beating when i met you even though the shot of you took my breath away it actually started beating more um they were able to tap into their higher self this feeling that all is one that there's so much more to you to the connection to them 
than even what meets the eye. And for that reason, you started a spiritual awakening within them. The fool is here twice, new beginnings twice. So you've definitely the catalyst for this person's awakening. And they want to create with you. They want kids with you. They want to marry you. They see you as someone they can create with. Fertility. Um, the inference energy here. This is expansion, growth, abundance. That is the finest. So, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. They say you was very attractive, very beautiful. Um, you're attracting this person um, here with the Empress energy. The Empress does not pursue or chase. She simply attracts. So, hmm. Energy Oracle, what do we have? There's Twin Flame reading. What does the Divine Masculine want to say to this Divine Feminine? He wants a new start with you. He wants it twice. So this person is definitely coming towards you with an offer for a new start. Something tangible, something beautiful. They want to um, be there for you financially, help you, support you, take care of you, and help you find even your inner calling. Um, the sun. <laughs> and door to spirit. Oh my. I'm done. Done. <laughs> so you have the sun and door to spirit. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot. It gives life to anything it touches. This connection has room for growth. Some of you guys are going to have a child with this person. Um, a spiritual child is going to be born from this connection, from this union. I love child baby. Somebody's going to be naming their baby some very spiritual names here. I see that. Um, <laughs> you let go of control issues to manifest your person, to bring them closer. Put ego to the side right now. Put ego in your back pocket. Put them back in the closet, on the shelf, in the shoebox. And ship it off to somewhere else because you need ego out of the way to manifest, to keep, and to hold on to this person. Don't let ego steal this joy in this moment from you guys. Um, forgiving and learning. As you forgive and learn each other. And, um, well, yep, yep, yep. We just got this on the last one too. So, guys, 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 let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. The twin flame reading I just did. <laughs> um, as you release and forgive... Um, the past, you experience more love in your present moments here. There's a lot of attraction here with the Empress energy, of course, with the sun. They're very attracted to you. You give them life. You make them feel like um, they're a kid again. You make them feel very playful, very fun, very flirty. Um, it's like a new lease on life, like I said with the universe card here. Some people feel like they heart stop beating when they meet their person. They're breathless. You take their breath away. Um, this person is saying to you, their heart didn't stop beating when they saw you, when they met you. It was at that point that they felt like it started to beat for the very first time in their life. They actually started to live. They started to want to live, to want to explore life, to want to dance in the sun, you know, to want to go run and play in the rain. You bring out their inner child within them. Beautiful. Major person, stop and smell the roses. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And they want to come towards you and enjoy every bit of you, every ounce of you. Ten of cups, happy family, happy home with the sun and the emperor. You guys are going to make families together um you're going to expand and grow to a situation that um is going to bring children into your experience with engagement this connection is ascending to a higher level of commitment and the situation does involve marriage with your person so they love you they want to marry you they can't get enough of you they're very attracted to you and you've given them a reason to live a new lease on life now they know what it's like to love and to live and you've just awakened their immortal spirit their inner being they want to come running towards you to share express and live this beautiful amazing new lease on life energy out with you thank you guys so much i hope someone got what they needed take care be safe love you namaste